Hello there and welcome to this little video on some fabric dye and uh, this is actually a video where the end result wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be but still it ended up useful even though it yeah it didn't turn out to you know the the bold degree of uh, strong colors that I hoped and uh, and that was simply because the material of the fabric was different than I thought. So I buy a lot of different uh, used sheets and duvet covers and so on in thrift shops uh, because they're nice and you know cheap and easy to dye to color. And uh, I bought some that simply had too much polyester in them. So as you can see here, I'm trying some different techniques to make some tie dye. And uh, yeah, those techniques, they didn't really show up that much and it wasn't very clear because the color simply didn't attach enough to the fabric because there was too much polyester. Uh, so when there are when there's not enough natural fibers in the materials, then the colors simply don't stick to them that well. So um, it turned out different, but still very beautiful because they were the colors were were very muted and very pastel. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna use these techniques some on some other projects as well, so they will come up a bit more clear. But this first one was simply like this big wooden pencil and uh, just rolling some fabric around and then adding a lot of string. And this one is making a square and then using like the harmonica fold where you fold it um, in al alternate ways each time and then just adding some big clamps. And then I'm just wetting the fabric, just dipping it in some water so it gets a little bit soaked and then it's ready for some, uh, for some dye afterwards and just adding a few more clamps uh, to make some, some patterns. For this one, I'm simply just scrunching it up. This is like a very, very easy way to dye fabric, to uh, color it uh, without really thinking about it. So using a lot of rubber bands and just scrunching it up and then using some cotton string and again, just lots of string around it and don't worry about what you do. It's gonna be fine. And in this case, you're not even going to see it that well, but you know, if you had some different material, you would. And this is again, a harmonica fold and some more clamps. And you can use both these plastic ones. You could use some, some wooden, uh, like uh, for your, from your, like that you use to hang up clothes. And again, just a scrunched up one with lots of very, very uh, tight rubber bands. And this, is uh, actually just trying to use kind of make a very loose harmonica fold where it's more like turns into some kind of a roll and then just lots of rubber bands with a bit of distance between them and it comes up very very muted but it would it should have shown up like like stripes actually so where the rubber bands are becomes kind of these a little bit uneven stripes and this is to create lots of tiny little kind of circles in the fabric. So I'm just taking the little, a little bit of the fabric and putting some rubber bands around it all the way around. And each of these little bumps with the rubber bands around them would, you know, should turn into a, a little, a little circle. Uh, and it doesn't, unfortunately. But it's a good technique to use if you have pure cotton material. Then it's then it looks really pretty. It's a fun way, and that also yeah, the fabric looks really cool. You have a big piece of fabric that actually just turns into this small piece when you have all the rubber bands around it. And I'm just mixing some tie dye, and I'm using these plastic bags to put the fabric in, and then to dye it directly in there because then it's already to be closed up and then be saved for, for about 24 hours or something. And I'm all, I'm just using like different blue, a bit of purple, a little bit of turquoise, just to get this kind of indigo feel where it's just different shades of blue. And unfortunately it doesn't really show up, but yeah, you'll see the result and it's still pretty. And I've actually, I've made a, a coat with the result. Uh, it's a really nice coat as you can see here and there's also a tutorial on how to make that so here I'm just using a little bucket that's also something you can do and then just add the plastic bag or the plastic film afterwards you just have to make sure that you kind of close it into something while it soaks so the fabric will will really take the color and and it will it will proper color the fabric and here I'm just 
just using the leftover of my dye. I hate to let anything go to waste, so I'm really trying to use it all up. Yeah, just adding the little bit of, of dye that's left and putting it in there. And it's always so fun, like it's so exciting. You don't know exactly what you're gonna get, but you know you're gonna get something nice. And this is actually using like the, pe the, 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 the colored water, like the water that I um, kind of dropped with some dye, some dye powder in that bucket to just like let it soak up in the fabric. Again, to not let it go to waste. So I'm just pressing the fabric into it and using up the rest of the tie dye. Here I'm just putting in some water. I'm very, I'm diluting it a lot and trying to make, yeah, a very, very diluted color, but just to use it up and to try to see what I can make with this last bit. And uh, yeah, I don't really get much on those clamps. So unfortunately that won't really show, but still it's fun. Just adding a little bit of powder there. You can also add like dry powder afterwards and, and see if that will create a nice result. And now comes the fun part because this is where I open the bags after approximately 24 hours where they've been just lying there and I'm rinsing them through with cold water. And as you can see, I've lost my gloves, unfortunately. So that's why my hands aren't in the best shape because they simply get so much color on them. And yes, it's not very good for them at all, but it happens. And uh, yeah, then you just look like you're super creative and I remember I had to go to a job interview a couple of days later, which was fun with blue hands, but it's it still worked out. But this part is just, it's just my favorite, cutting up all these little pieces of fabric and rubber bands and seeing what the pattern is when you open it up. And uh, yeah, to so see whether you've had it like tight enough or whether it doesn't really show properly, it's a great gift. A little surprise, you know, to see whether what you've been making is what you thought it was going to be and yeah um, these fabrics came out very beautiful very muted and pastel but I used them for a coat that I've also got a tutorial for where I used uh, a satin blanket for the inside and then I used some of these fabrics for the outside and then quilted them together and it was just a very pretty pretty coat and I've loved wearing it and I mixed it with some old vintage embroidery as well and that was a, a really cool look here you can see beautiful colors and some uh, some blue fingers as well but uh, I really enjoyed this process and that's the fun with tie-dye you never know what you're gonna get but it sure is fun <laughs> 